hello hello i hope you guys are doing well um today i'm going to be doing some planning for the month of august last month i did this ocean waves theme which i really really enjoyed painting i thought it was so therapeutic um but this month i wanted to go for a kind of enchanted forest theme for this month um slash kind of like a cottage core theme i know that term is used so much these days but that's kind of what i'm going for in this spread and for my planning spreads as well so i'm just getting out my maya hemi gouache set which i've used a couple times on my channel before and it's actually a super amazing set uh i have really enjoyed using it uh the few times that i have and also the jelly paints just look so scrumptious <laughs> Like, I want to eat them almost. They just look so satisfying in a way. So I always love painting with them. Um, but I had to kind of brush up on gouache painting again um, because I haven't really worked with gouache paints a lot recently. So I went on to Skillshare and went back to my all-time favorite gouache painting video. Um, I just love Sarah Boccaccini Meadows. Um, she has a Skillshare class that goes over all of the basics of learning how to paint with gouache, also like layering and different techniques you can use. Um, if you guys don't know what Skillshare is, they are a online learning platform with thousands of different classes that you can take to learn a new skill, whether it be art or embroidery or something related to business. They have a class for everything you can pretty much think of in the creative world. And so if you're looking to take up a new skill, I would definitely check them out with the link in my description to get two free months of their premium membership. All right, so now we're gonna start our little painting. Um, I want to have kind of like a backdrop of a mountain range in the back, just like a very simple one. And then my vision for the rest of it is to kind of feel like you're in this mystical, magical, kind of enchanted forest with a bunch of trees surrounding you. So that is kind of the vision that I have have in my head. Um, and, you know, in the beginning, I was definitely nervous to translate that to paper because I wasn't really sure exactly how. And I didn't really have a photo or reference to kind of work off of so what i ended up doing was actually start watching the frozen 2 making a frozen 2 i think it's called documentary while i was uh kind of creating a vision of what this is gonna look like i actually ended up sketching it out on my ipad first um before going in with the full painting and that's what helped me i kind of looked at the scenery in frozen 2 and the different uh, animation scenes they had and took small elements or details from the different scenes to kind of create this painting. So that was kind of the inspiration behind this one. This month I've actually been doing quite a bit of painting, which is very exciting. If you guys didn't already see, I did a, um, or I started the Pantone challenge, which is a 100 day challenge where you basically paint on a Pantone swatch every single day. And so I've been keeping up with that lately, which is good. Um, I even did a, I've been starting streaming on Twitch and I did a little art stream the other day, uh, last weekend where I did some Pantone swatch painting. So, um, yeah, it's been actually really, really fun. Uh, and it's just a good way to keep up the painting practice. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that and I've also been designing my stickers finally. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about them. Um, I had a couple sets made that I wasn't truly sure about. So I'm kind of going back in and changing stuff and adding more details to them. Um, so I'm going to be doing my first sticker order very soon since I'm not making my own stickers anymore. Um, I'm going to be placing it with a sticker company and then hopefully I like what they send me so that I can open up my shop again with all of those goodies. My shop has been open, but I just have been offering prints um, instead of stickers, but I'm going to have kind of like a big shop update coming pretty soon once I approve everything. So yeah, I'm very excited. And I even have a sticker set that looks a little similar to this painting here. 
kind of like a magical mystical forest vibe so um yeah i'm excited for you guys to see it it's been a long process but it's getting there it's coming together <laughs> um but other than that um i've just been doing art doing a lot of twitch streaming playing animal crossing and I also have an interview coming up this week, so wish me luck on that one. <laughs> I uh, was supposed to be job searching at the beginning of this year, but then everything happened with COVID and it's been really like up in the air when companies will start like hiring again and doing the interview process. But I have an interview next week, so I'm going to be preparing pretty much all weekend. <laughs> so this is kind of like a therapeutic painting session to kind of get me a little bit less stressed about it um but yeah sorry for my rambling i just wanted to kind of talk to you guys chat a little bit um but yeah this is the kind of final painting after doing all of my little details of this enchanted forest So now that we're done painting, um, I'm going to scan it and print it out. And I actually only had this glossy paper this time, which I actually really like. Um, I usually use matte photo paper for my prints, but I really like the glossy photo paper. So I might add it as an option in my shop soon because uh, I like it so much. But yeah, this will be a, a print in my shop slash download by the time this video goes up if you guys want to go check out my little etsy shop i have going on and i am also going to uh be filming a video right after this voiceover actually <laughs> i'm going to be filming a video on how i digitize my artwork and the way that i print out my prints i know there's a lot of you guys out there that are trying to digitize your artwork to sell as prints in your own shop or just to be able to reproduce in general um, and I feel like I've gotten down my method of scanning, printing, editing, um, everything that kind of goes along with digitizing artwork so I am going to be filming that right after this. Um, if you guys are interested I'll have that probably up next week uh, but I've been wanting to do it for a while and it'll be kind of like a studio vlog uh, video kind of thing. So yeah. Um, but anyways, on these pages, I just did a things to do this month page, which I always end up using. So I do it every month. And then on the right side, I have my Twitch schedule page. I just started streaming on there two weeks ago and it's been so much fun honestly just meeting a bunch of new people and being able to talk to you guys in real time and just have people to hang out with while I play Animal Crossing because I'm playing Animal Crossing every day so might as well <laughs> hang with you guys while I do it but um it's actually been a lot of fun I'm not gonna be doing it like seriously like in the strict schedule or anything but it's just something that I've really enjoyed so I kind of made this little schedule for myself um and I'm even going to be doing as I said earlier art streams and bullet journaling streams I'm also going to be doing a stream I think uh where I like do some real-time packaging of orders um but yeah if you guys ever want to join uh I kind of stick to that schedule that I just showed it's all pacific time but I would love to meet you guys and talk to you guys while I play some games um and yeah on this uh last spread that I'm going to be doing I'm just going to be doing a little weekly spread so I'm doing I have this idea to do some like antique gold frames I don't know I think it looks like gold frames but I don't know if it looks like gold frames to you guys I feel like I could have been more detailed with the little um accents and everything but uh that's that's the vibe i was going for and on the right side i'm going to do these boxes and then i'm going to do some little mushroom drawings with uh those prismacolor colored pencils i was using before which i really want to get more into doing like a lot more drawings with colored pencils i just love the way it looks uh i think it'd be almost cool to do a whole sticker set with colored pencils but i have never done that before um 
so I'll have to I'll have to test it or a mix with gouache and colored pencil that, ooh, that would look really good um so I maybe I'll do that this weekend actually not this weekend I have to prepare for an interview but next week maybe I'll try to do a little new sticker set yeah um this was the final spread I hope you guys enjoyed this very chatty journal with me video um <laughs> Usually I kind of like go into my step-by-step -step process of doing my paintings and everything, but this time I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful month of August. If you guys want to keep up with me, you can follow my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, um, and you can subscribe if you want to see more videos. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.